A new initiative has just launched to help the Canadian film and television industry become more diverse, both in front of the camera and behind the scenes. It is called Hire BIPOC, and it's a collaboration between Bell Media and BIPOC TV and Film in partnership with other major broadcasters. Joining us with more this morning is the founder of BIPOC TV and Film, Natalie Youngley. Good to have you with us this morning. Morning, Anne-Marie. Uh, tell us about HireBIPOC.com and how it works. Yeah, it's basically a roster of um, Black, Indigenous, and people of color who are creative. So writers, directors, and producers, as well as crew who work across uh, Canada in the screen-based industry. So TV, film, and digital media. Um, and is it specifically for those roles, or does it deal with executive-level roles as well? It totally deals with executive levels. It, it kind of goes all the way from driver, uh, production assistants uh, at, at various uh, experience levels, all the way up to executives. What kind of productions will be able to use this resource? I think it's really um, all productions. It's the independent productions, it's service productions, you know, uh, productions that come from different countries and they shoot here in Canada, as well as in-house productions. And if somebody wants to be added to the database, how do they do that? Yeah, you can just go to the website, hirebipoc.com, uh, sign up under Get Hired. And there's uh, places where you can actually fill out your profile, your bio, your list of credits, et cetera. And on the hiring side, it's uh, you sign up as a, as a hiring manager, and there's a bit of a vetting process. And then once, once that vetting process is complete, then um, hiring managers can go and, and search for uh, different roles. Members of this database have always been working in the industry. Their skills have always been out there for people to hire. So what does it mean now that you've got the major broadcasters who will also be partnering with this database? Uh, what does that mean to you? What does that mean to the organization? Yeah, it's huge. And like you said, like we've been here for a long time. We've been working in the industry for a long time, but having the commitment from the broadcasters as well as producers and across the industry really means that there is a focus um, being put on this and that there is more of a commitment um, now more than ever before. And I think yeah, it has a huge... Go ahead. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> oh, I, th I just think it, it can be really transformative with the industry. Yeah, one of the conversations that came up this year, of course, was, well, we want to be able to hire more uh, people of color, but we don't necessarily, they don't either apply for the jobs or we don't know that their skill base is there. So this is bringing those two worlds together. Yeah, yeah. And it's just one, one tool in, in many uh, that need to happen. Um, how do you hope that this is going to change the Canadian media industry in the months and really years to come? I'm, I'm really hoping that, you know, we can walk on set, you know, set, there's hundreds of people who make TV and it'd be really great that we can walk on set and see ourselves represented behind the camera, but also it affects the stories that we tell. It affects the shows that are made and how they're made and the, and even the news, like how the news is, is, is portrayed and what perspectives are, are shown. Um, and then how will this address the gap that happens at the top? Because the criticism has been, even though sort of front-facing people may be of color, the real decision, there's sort of a line and it stops. And then the decisions are made uh, by mostly non-BIPAC people. How does a, a resource like this help to change that? Yeah, I mean, we're really hoping that um, execs will use it as well and, and also... Um, you know, part of the conversation is you can't just have one exec of color in the in the environment. There needs to be more than that, um, because in order to affect change, you you actually need to have like true decision making power, but also the support. Uh, it is an interesting new initiative, uh, fascinating to take a look at. I want to thank you for coming on today to tell us more about it. Thanks for having me. Thanks for watching. If you like this, be sure to subscribe here, and you can check out more your morning videos right here.